Okay, it's time for another fish tank update. The uh, piranha tank has been moved downstairs. We cut a big section of carpet out and decided to put the uh, garage floor sealant on the concrete. And the 75 gallon tank has been replaced with a 120. The 75 just started getting too small for the uh, for the livestock. And the newest feature here for my Ecotech pump, so we're now running two MP40s. And on the back wall, in the Eco Smart mode, we've got two MP10s. And right now, the power is a little bit, it's turned back a little bit, I'll open up the uh, case in a minute, but it's in nutrient transport mode, I tuned the wave using the auto tune feature and set that to a wave that's not too out of control for the surface of my tank in the overflow, I did not get a drilled tank, shame on me, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> But when you set it in the uh, nutrient transport mode, I actually read the instructions in the PDF and the wave pulse that it will use will be the one that you've actually saved in the auto-tune. So you can just barely make it out there. It's more than enough surface action and there's all kinds of detritus getting pulled up after moving all the live rock and cleaning the sand. Uh, all the fish made it over in one piece. Uh, Ozzy, the evil lunar wrasse, uh, does not like to be netted. He's been having a temper tantrum. He's usually cruising all over the place, but he's just laying there. Uh, if you reach in with the tongs and poke him, he swims. He's, <laughs> he's just having a fit right now. He doesn't like to go in the net, apparently. I'm going to get some larger pieces of live rock, for sure. And make the rock work a little bit more intricate and then pick up some more small to mid-sized colonies of zoos and softies and I might try my hand at some hard corals now that I have more than enough flow but the real magic here is the plumbing from the overflow box I have hardline PVC coming back through the wall into blurry for a minute there. The pump room comes out of the wall, drops down low into the drum, 30 gallon poly drum, and there's a 90 degree elbow on the bottom of that, and it's making the water go around in a little bit of a circle. Uh, I'll get to the aqua lifter pump hanging there in a minute. One bulkhead fitting, it's a one inch. That's coming out and going to my original sump, which is now a refugium with live rock. An inch and a half bulkhead fitting. It's going down over and angled down into what I'm thinking is either a 20 or 30 gallon long. I'm not sure which size tank that is. But I have a two maxi jet pumps down in here. An NJ 4500 I believe that one is and then an NJ 47 I'm not a hundred percent sure but uh, I've got a separate pump running the skimmer now hard line to the skimmer uh, had a massive flood in here the skimmer decided it was going to over skim and it looks like it's actually doing it now but I have a 10 gallon bucket that it can go into so the system will suck air before it dumps water on the floor again uh, the return pump is also feeding my uh, phosphate media reactor. And the media reactor I actually have dumping into my uh, hang on the back refugium. I'm going to put some, a light on that and some macro in there. Then I have my coral and bio denitrator or nitrator. There's a very careful holding the iPhone 4 over the tank. You can just barely make out if I put the light on. Ah, there we go. There's the uh, 
Tom's Aqualifter pre-filter. It's tied around the inlet so it doesn't suck air. Down into the denitrator. And then one drop per second out of the effluent. And that unit really does help keep the nitrates in the tank down. It's rated for up to a 400 gallon system so I'm not taxing that. Now I'm just going to shut the video down and deal with the uh, over skimming filter again. I have yet to figure out which settings I need to play with to get it to stop over skimming. If anybody has any suggestions please let me know. But one more quick wide angle of the whole tank if I can get it. Ow. And then, what the hell, right on the other side we moved the piranha tank from uh, upstairs to downstairs. Having it on the hardwood was just a little scary. And that's it for the, uh, the tank update. The, uh, you can just barely make out the uh, MP10 on the piranha tank. They're still digging the current over there. No problems with any of the units. And... Real quick, there's. I'm gonna do something with those wave drivers eventually. Mount them on the doors, maybe, but they're they're doing their thing, no issues. And again, thanks to the guys at EcoTech Marine for putting together some really slick products. I did the ow. <laughs> I did the firmware update uh, on the newest MP40 that I got and. Both MP10s and my old MP40 that I got from my friend used, they all updated, uh, and everything is working smoothly. Uh, please comment on the video, and especially if anybody has any suggestions on what to do with that skimmer to stop it from over skimming. Thanks for watching.